biggest red flag you have when you're starting to get with a female? Septum piercing. It's basically a call sign that she has no dad. Yep, can confirm. The hairstyle girls love. The hairstyle girls hate. Oh, bros, that's it. That's what it's been this entire time. It's your hair, huh? Dear Ashley, please forgive me for what I'm about to do. Oh, you're gonna hate me. You're gonna hate me. R.I.P. to Chloe. Women always ask how I like don't get attached to guys and like how I don't get my feelings hurt because girls are always getting attached and getting their feelings hurt and stuff, you know what I mean? Ladies, there's no time to get hurt. If one man's down, you're on to the next. Straight away. No in-between period because that's when you that's when you start to get in your feels. If one's busy, jump on to the next one. This is why we have a roster. This is why we keep ourselves busy. So when one of them fails, you're on to the next. And you know what? We don't owe them any exclusivity unless they ask for it. I think that's fair. This is a recipe for a lonely life. If you end up treating everyone you meet as completely disposable, never creating healthy emotional ties in your relationships, how do you think people are going to treat you when they see your past and your unwillingness to open up? Everything she's talking about are traits of a side chick. Never main chick material. Why is it when you put boys together, they just lose all composure and act like little children? The problem is to me, they know they're being filmed. They know they're going to see it. So it's almost like- I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I would fight in the front lines the bloodiest battle the world has ever seen and come back with no limbs if it meant that that would guarantee me an ugly fat chick for life bro this is the most down bad dude in all of history i think this comment sums it up perfectly but he won't go to the gym get a haircut and focus on building his assets uh-huh man's is delusional huh the bottom g mm -hmm. sounds about right Look, this is our wheelchair line, y'all, leaving the DR. Everybody got their ass done. <laughs> BBL wheelchair line in the DR. So a BBL, for those of you that don't know, is a Brazilian butt lift. So all of these chicks are in line to get that Kim K booty, yikes. So don't even bother to beg me to come back. For my bro audience. You're welcome, teacher. The test isn't that confusing, the test. Proud mother of three children, virgin. I love my husband, lesbian. <laughs> Bro, this chick definitely has a psychology degree. No, you're not. No, you're not. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Mental. Mental. Mental, Jaden. Mental. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Mental. Mental. Look at him. Mental. Yo, check. Check. There. Yo, mental. 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 My leg. My leg. My leg. My leg. Jaden. Damn. Damn. I got Jaden. Damn. I got you. Jaden. 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 What a good video. Mentoring his son, leading his son, being that role model, helping him along his journey with his mental toughness. W dad. Yes. <laughs> What's the biggest red flag when you go into a guy's place or a bedroom? An American flag. You like a North Korean one? No. I have a North Korean yeah, one than an American, American one. Yeah. Me too. American flag is a red flag. flag. The only American flag is the Nicki Minaj one. Can't even be patriotic, apparently. Wanting to support your own country is a red flag. Big yikes, my guy. That's a big yikes, my guy. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. Oh, wow. <coughs> okay, so these are my knives. Okay, okay. And these are my crystals. 
most people, if they hear that you have 80 bodies, they'll be that's like, good. That's good. I bet that's you good. Hold on, hold. Let me tag something on at the end of that. The reason why men have a revulsion response, because there's a human revulsion response, but it's intense for certain things, like you want to get away from a dead body. You want to get away from uh, things that smell, like fear feces, of fear of so heights. Hard. There are things that human beings are instinctually want to get themselves away from. When a woman is easier, she's had 80 bodies, or she has children from another man, there is a hesitation in men that is instinctual. And the reason for that is because that woman represents a bad bet for his paternity. That's why the body count matters to guys and it doesn't matter quite as much to women. The reason why promiscuity works one way for men and it does not work for women is because of that paternity. It's the understanding and the ascertaining whether or not the child is his child. It's been in our biological evolutionary innate interests to know or to try to ascertain whether or not the baby is our baby. Throughout all of our existence, men have never been able to tell with 100% certainty that the child is his. The only way that they they could tell is if she had zero partners in her past. This is why women that have never been with anyone were so prized. This is why I think men should be able to enjoy some of the modern day science of today by making paternity tests 100% mandatory for every single pregnancy, no matter what. These comments are based as hell. PSYOP, it's propaganda. Remember boys, someone's falling for this. Don't be that someone. Help me step co-pilot, I'm stuck. Evil propaganda, bro. The government is getting more creative. Found the PSYOP e-girl bunker. What is that? She is aware of what she's doing. Do not fall for it. The gem is, is I do it for mental. I don't, I don't do it just want to have a big bicep. I want to look good. I want to shake somebody's hand. They're like, oh, this guy's disciplined. He's probably going to take care of me, right? Okay, I want to, I want to be remembered. Not as the guy that's out of shape. Nobody remembers the sloppy people. They remember the sharp people. Right? Those are the people they refer people. Being respected by your peers and the people around you is one of the peak human experiences of being a man. Being acknowledged among the tribe for your achievements. When you start to get all of these things up, you start to get your money up, your muscles up, your game up, all of these things, your aura completely changes. Okay, this is exactly like some Dragon Ball Z Naruto stuff. The more work you put in, the stronger your aura becomes. Other people sense this stuff. And I know this sounds like spiritual woo-woo BS, but it is 100% real. When you start getting your shit in order, you start to act different. People notice those subtleties. When you walk into a room, everyone looks up. They feel a presence enter the room. This is honestly something I've been experiencing somewhat recently, probably a little bit less than a year, where all of the hard work that you've been putting in behind the scenes starts to show itself in the public. Again, your aura getting bigger. You just carry yourself with a different weight of confidence. It's They'll be like, so how could you be single? You're so beautiful. And it's like, I'm single because I'm beautiful. It's They'll be so like, how could you be single? You're so beautiful. And it's like, I'm single because I'm beautiful. There's supposed to be two different people in this reel, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. Did you guys see a second person or am I just tripping? 